Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished getting off live with you guys on TikTok. Before we jump into this video, we just have to have a moment for this look because you guys, if you follow me and you guys watch any of my tutorials or my lives, you guys know I love a super, super matte look, but I'm trying to switch it up, trying to step out of my comfort zone. And because my skin is behaving at the moment, I'm like, we can add a little bit of glow because you know, why not? Because I did forget something. I didn't put my brow. I like to put stuff on my brows so my brows don't look like powdery. All right, boom, we're done. So for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. And thank you guys for subscribing. Just to kind of catch you guys up, I've been doing a lot of my makeup on live on TikTok because I get to interact with you guys. I've been talking about this in a couple of my videos too and not that i'm not going to do tutorials here but it's just so much fun to be able to go on live and interact with you guys show you literally what i'm doing you guys have questions i can answer them on the spot but i also understand that sometimes you guys don't get to catch those lives so i am gonna still be to doing tutorials on here if you guys want one on this particular look let me know because i will film one for you guys now the last skincare video i did was um it wasn't that it was last year for sure i remember that but it was when i was using the dove bar soap um so that was like the last video i did so it's been a whole year and a lot not a lot has changed i still use some of the products i've been using for years and years but i'm going to show you guys so enough with the rambling if you guys want to know all about skincare and what i use on my skin then please keep on watching all right so i don't want to get too chatty in this video because it's so much I could say about skin, you know? I love skin and I love, love, love makeup, but the number one thing for your makeup to look good is for your skin to look good. That doesn't necessarily mean clear skin, even though obviously that's the goal, you know what I mean? We all wanna have clear, beautiful, poreless skin, but unfortunately not all of us have that kind of skin. I know I don't, my skin is very acne prone and I have to be very on top of my skin. I like to call my skin high maintenance cause for me it is like, there's some women I know that they could just go to sleep, forget to wash their face and like they won't get a breakout or anything like that. But for me, my skin is the total opposite. So I have to be very, very on top of my skin. And because of that, I'm constantly trying new stuff, you know, to make sure that my skin stays as clear as possible. And over the last year or two, I definitely have noticed a major difference. For those of you who don't know, I am vegetarian. This year makes three years that I have been a vegetarian. And I definitely noticed a big change with that. So I do believe that your diet has an impact on your skin not on everyone you know so please keep in mind that whatever i'm gonna say is just things that have worked for me um you know i know everybody's skin is different i'm not a doctor so this is just what has worked for me that maybe might work for you so that's why i'm sharing it before i show products that's just something that i want to put out there because your skin you know i do believe a lot of what you eat reflects you know on your body your skin not for everyone but like for me particularly once i cut out meat dairy like i still eat cheese but like for example like cow milk things like that i noticed a major difference in my skin so i decided to pick up this african black soap this is from sheer moisture this is the blemish prone face and body bar this is a new one i always have a backup because i'm obviously not going to show you where you know the used up one you know what i mean but i have it in a soap container so that's where i keep it in my bathroom but i this is literally my third bar it's it's like it's new obviously i haven't opened it but i always have a backup of this and guys like when i tell you that this bar is amazing i'm not even joking like i noticed a difference right away and it's funny because i posted it on my instagram story asking if any of you tried it and i got so much feedback that i was like oh you know like you guys love skincare talk and it was like a mix like some people like oh my god it broke me out more some people like no i love it oh my god it's amazing so it was very mixed reviews and i hadn't even tried it yet i just took a picture and was like have you guys tried this so i was nervous because of the mixed reviews i still decided to try it and for me it has worked wonders like i truly truly love it i don't use it twice a day though i only use it at night on days that i'm wearing makeup i use this coconut oil this is the garden of life 
coconut oil and the reason why i mentioned that is because not all oils are the same you know what i mean i've tried different coconut oils and they didn't always work well with my skin and i know that coconut oil is one of those things where it's like it really just depends on you because some people are allergic some people say it breaks them out so this is what i'm saying like things i'm just showing you you'll know if it works for you or not or you can maybe like try just one section on your face or something like that but i have been using coconut oil to remove my makeup literally for like maybe like five years or more than five years, I think. So this is just what works for me um, and I love it, but there are many options out there to you, you know remove your makeup. But if you wear a lot of makeup like me, I definitely recommend an oil-based remover. Like I would never just go in with the bar and use that, you know, like I remove my makeup first. So the way that I do that, I used to use wipes and it just, I would end up using like four wipes, like the Neutrogena ones, because it just, it wasn't enough to take off the makeup. You know, I use a lot of makeup, as you guys know, and it's just, it wasn't enough. So this is why I decided to go with the oil. And I just have a bunch of these towels. And what I do is I just take the oil, put it all over my face. I wet the towel and then I just remove it. And I use a clean one every night. And then I throw them in the washer, disinfect them and all that good stuff but and i constantly like toss them out after they look really worn out and grab new ones but target sells a whole pack of these towels for like five bucks or a dollar i don't know it's something like that but it's super affordable um so this is just the way that i remove my makeup and it works amazing for me because i just feel like it gets in there and i do it gently to where i'm not like tugging at my skin so much so that's just one thing that i'd want to mention like i said right after that i go in with this bar and just kind of take the rest of all that stuff off so many of you were giving me recommendations on what you use and a lot of you mentioned turmeric soap which is funny because I was looking into turmeric because I know it's very good for brightening dark spots and everything like that and that was literally like one of the main problems with my skin was that I would break out even if I didn't pick at it or anything because I am tan skin like I would just scar up so even if I didn't have any like current breakouts I still had that pigmentation which never made my skin look clear you know what I mean and I still struggle with that here and there like especially during my monthly cycle these products have definitely helped me lighten up that scar so that my skin just looks a lot more clear now you know what I mean so this is turmeric soap and I bought this on Etsy don't worry I will provide the links to the shop but i know there's so many options now but i got i found this on etsy and this is the second time i purchased from the same person because i know there's like so many options but it worked for me so this is why i bought it again so this is like my second one but they last so long because i'm literally using this in the morning and this at night to cleanse my face so they're gonna last you a very very long time and then when i clean my bathroom i take the soaps off of the soap dish and then i disinfect my dish just to kind of prevent bacteria as much as we can if you haven't tried bar soaps i'm telling you even with especially with acne prone skin i definitely recommend you look into it because i was so scared for years but i realized over time that you really just can't get caught up in other people's experiences like you can kind of learn from them and maybe try to figure out will that work or not but it's really a matter of you trying it for yourself because everybody's skin is so so different um so that's why i'm mentioning that but right now this is the combo i've been doing for almost a year now and i am obsessed it makes me so happy because honestly when my skin was breaking out i love makeup and most people want to cover it up with makeup but i was like the opposite i didn't want to wear makeup when my skin was like just not doing well you know so knock on wood it stays this way but i'm really confident in what i've been using and i feel like it's just working for me um so that's go that's as far as cleansers that's what i use as far as like cleaning my face and then the next thing that i use which i shouted this out on my instagram i mean on my live because a lot of you guys were asking me uh, acne.org treatment the 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide if you guys go back to my old first skincare video it's a few years ago but 
I talk about this and I am still obsessed with this. I've been using this since I was pregnant with my daughter and that was like, she's gonna be nine. So that was 10 years ago. So I've been using this literally for 10 years and it's amazing. I have stepped away from it to try different things and then I just always come back to it. What I did do differently though, they sell this in this size and I started buying the smaller one because I started to feel like the big one would last me a long, long time. But I started to feel like after a while, just from opening it so much, you know, I think the air, I don't know if it would break down the strength or maybe it was just in my head. I don't know. But I started to feel like I'm going to just purchase the smaller one so that I could buy a newer one and it could be a little bit more fresh. You know what I'm saying? When I have my monthly cycle, sometimes those, you know, those breakouts can be very like aggressive. You know what I'm saying? They could be a little bit in your face. So for those, for that time, if it happens, because it doesn't happen every month, um, I use the Clean and Clear, the Persa Gel 10. Now this stuff, guys, this stuff is strong. Like this will give you crocodile skin. <laughs> You know what I mean? So this is why I use it for spots. And I use this just like I said, when I have like that pimple that hasn't come to a head and you you know it's never going to come to a head, like it's just there, like I guess the cystic acne, like usually I'll get that like around my chin, like one or two, even if it's just one, I put this right away just to kind of dry it out and make sure that it doesn't spread. Um, so I, I also don't use this every month. This is just something that I have to have because it's a lot stronger and I just like to use it as a spot treatment. Um, but like I said, it's very potent. So like you want to use this sparingly and for those, not just the regular pimple. I think the, the other brands of products I would do its thing for that or whatever other acne product you use. This is more for like those pimples you just know need that extra attention. That's what I have this for. Use the glycolic acid which is an aha which is an alpha hydroxy acid for those of you who don't know this basically is like a chemical exfoliant so you know how you can use a scrub to remove dead skin this does the same but it's just in a lotion form and you don't scrub the skin it's like a lotion um and you put this on i like to i put it on everywhere except like around my mouth and my eyes you know what i mean you don't want to put this around your eyes uh, but I've been using glycolic acid for years, years, years. And I swear, I don't know, it could be genetics. It could be a lot of factors. But I truly think this is what has prevented me from having wrinkles, like premature wrinkles. Because, like, you see, I, I have some, like, but, like, I literally never got Botox. So this stuff is amazing. Like, I love, love, love this. I think if you use glycolic acid when you're very young, um, it's not very young, but you know, like starting in your late teens, 20s, whatever. I think it's amazing because it's just going to keep your skin exfoliated. It helps to really, I mean, just Google glycolic acid and check out all the benefits. The only thing about this product is that it's not the most like comfortable. You know what I mean? It tingles a little bit and stuff like that. When I first, first, first started using this, I almost couldn't handle it. I did like every other day. Um, then there was a time when I was doing every day, so I kind of played around with it. Now I do every other day. I've been doing it like that for like a whole year just because that's just what's working for me. I don't feel like I need to do it every day, but it definitely makes a big difference because when you use acne products like benzoyl peroxide, it kind of dries out your, the like first layer of your skin. And, you know, as you get older, that skin just doesn't come off like that. You need to get that out because that's what can also trigger breakouts. So I don't like to use too many harsh scrubs on my face. So this is why I really prefer this. The thing you do want to keep in mind, though, is that you want to try to stay away from the sun when you use products like these because they will make your skin more sensitive to the sun, which I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I don't listen. Like, I'll forget to put sunscreen. That's the one thing. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm not going to mention in this video because I don't have a current sunscreen that I'm using right now. Um, which I know it's so bad, but this summer I'm definitely not even this summer Like I'm actually gonna be on the hunt for a new one now because I do need a sunscreen It's just sunscreen. It's like a love and hate relationship because I feel like it breaks me out I know 100% I cannot use chemical sunscreen and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about Just google chemical sunscreen and natural sunscreens um, But I just don't have a current favorite. So if you guys have a skin a facial sunscreen that you love that's natural sunscreen please comment down below because
I'm babysitting right now. And this thing is so needy. It's not even funny. Like, I don't know what he wants. He's chilling. I don't know what he wants. He just wants attention, I think. All right, back to the video. So, um, like I said, if you guys know or are using any kind of sunscreen, please let your girl know because I've tried a few of them and nothing has stuck. Like, there's nothing that I'm like, I love this sunscreen. Next product that I use is from The Ordinary. It's the Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. You see, I need a new one desperately. But this bad boy right here, this is a game changer for me. Like, this truly has helped with the hyperpigmentation from a pimple. Now, if you have like a scar from like a cut or something like that, I'm not sure if this is gonna do its thing. I don't think it's for that. This is more for like acne, but this has changed the game for me. Like my skin has transformed so much since I started using this. It's been well over a year and I love it. And when I first started, they didn't have the big one now i saw on sephora they sell the bigger one so even though this is a one ounce and it lasts me is this a one ounce? yeah this is one ounce and it lasts me a really long time because this is another product where you don't have to glob a lot of it um i do notice that with this it could like dry you out just a little bit just a little bit um but as your skin gets used to it you know it's good I feel like it has boosted the glycolic acid and all that good stuff that i use i feel like it just kind of gave it that little extra boost that my skin needed last two final products the makeup revolution pink clay detoxifying mask and it's super super affordable you guys could get this at target i believe ulta might have it as well and like i love the smell of it too I don't know it's weird it has like this old school smell that i can't quite remember what it smells like but it reminds me of something um but it's amazing i don't use this all the time maybe like every two weeks or something like that like i used it last night just because i've been doing putting on so much makeup all week that i'm like okay we need to like detox my skin a little bit and i just apply a thin layer with a brush let it chill for like 10 minutes sometimes i leave it on way longer than 10 minutes and then I wash my face. So, and then, you know, do my routine. But I really, really love this. If you have super, super, super dry skin, I don't know if a clay mask would be for you. I would probably use something a little bit more hydrating that would still remove that skin and stuff like that. But I definitely love this. So many people ask me what moisturizer I use. And I was for a long time using the Derma E Hydrating Moisturizer, which comes like in a little blue jar. And I loved it, but after a while, I did start to notice that I was getting like little clogged pores around my eyes because I was kind of just putting it everywhere. And this is where my love for moisturizer and sunscreen is just like up and down because my skin, I just feel like it's so delicate that any kind of heavy moisturizer, stuff like that, it just does not work with me. Like, it'll work for the moment, but it's just not something I can use every day. You know what I mean? So I started looking into serums. Even though I know you can combine serum and moisturizers, I'm just like, you know what? We're going to go with the serum because my face gets so oily here that I feel like I don't need. Like, you know, you don't always need certain moisturizers. But this is like a whole nother conversation. I don't want to get too deep into this because some people are going to be like, well, what do you mean? But I don't mean you don't need to moisturize. I just mean you don't need heavy, heavy moisturizers all the time, depending on your skin. I've tried gel formulas. I've tried all types of stuff. And me and moisturizer, we just, as far as like with my skin, my facial skin, it's just, we don't work out. I don't know what it is. On my face, I mean, on my body, I use moisturizer, of course. But on my face... It's just so heavy for me and I just, I can't. So I went with a serum instead. And I don't know if you can replace your moisturizer with the serum, but that's just what I've been doing. I do want to try though more products from this particular um, collection because maybe there'll be a moisturizer that I could use at night that's going to really give me that plumpy, dewy, dewy skin. If you guys tried one or if there's an absolute favorite like I said, let your girl know. But right now, for the past couple months, I've been using the Olay Wrinkle Correction Serum with B3 Peptides. And I was going to gatekeep this. But y'all know I don't gatekeep. I don't. I don't. But I don't know. Something just caught my eye with this. I saw it in Target. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. And it's not super, super inexpensive because you kind of go through it quickly when you're using this as a moisturizer. But... 
I don't know what's in this bottle. It's like a magic potion. But I've been using it. At first, I wasn't putting it under my eyes because I was kind of scared. It's so freaking silky. And I don't know what's in this, but my skin truly loves it. I have it on now on top of everything else uh, with my makeup. But it works well with makeup and I use it at night. In the morning, I try to use not so much because I know I'm going to like go in with all my stuff. When I'm in my 30s. We need to start like, you know, doing what we can to prevent. So I don't know. And it says apply your lace serum to your face and neck before moisturizer and watch your skin transform. And honestly, guys, they're not lying. I don't know. I don't know what's in it, but it's amazing. I do want to check out a moisturizer, like I said, mainly for the nighttime so my skin could just really get that, like I said, deep hydration. But for now, I've just been using this to moisturize. And I use it as eye cream as well. And honestly, this thing is the bomb. Like, it's amazing. None of this stuff is sponsored, guys. This is truly just... I mean, even if it is, I don't... I just throw that out there because I feel like people have that misconception that if something is sponsored, you're just doing it because it's sponsored. But I never talk about something that I don't like. You know what I mean? So I just want to put that out there. But I, I throw in that it's not sponsored because I don't want people thinking I'm pushing something. I'm just showing you guys what I use. If you like it, you like it. You know what I mean? But even if it were to be, I just want you to know that I would not talk about something that I personally didn't like. You know, but we got to keep that in mind that makeup, skincare, literally anything may not work for everyone. You know what I mean? So it's just me sharing because you guys ask me all the time. But I hope that you guys, if you're interested in any of these products, that they work for you. Because I know the frustration of finding that skin regimen or that little skin concoction that works. You know what I mean? So it's literally trial and error. But so far, this is my go-to products. These are what I use. And the next things that, like I said, that I got to add is a moisturizer and a sunscreen because we need to step it up a little bit more. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, maddie.leonardo, and my TikTok, maddieleonardo. All the links will be provided in my description bar for this and for my other socials. And yeah, so I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give you a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.